Dockra. We're here with Philly Side Arts. We're visiting with Anne Clayton and the Post Open Studio Tours. Hi, Anne. I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming tours and what advice you might have to visitors who are planning to, to visit the, the tour this year. I understand it's bigger than ever. Indeed. This year we have 367 registered venues. Um, so the first thing to consider, especially for folks who have never participated as visitors on the tour before, is that you're not going to get to all the venues. Um, it's not necessarily intended for someone to be able to visit every studio. So my first piece of advice is to use our event website, which is the best resource for the most up-to-date information on the tour. We also have printed directories, which are available um, not only here at our administrative offices at 18th and Locust, um, at all of our community partner locations. So if you visit the event website and click on community partners, you'll get a list of all of those locations. There are 95 of them across the city and their official distribution points for a printed directories, which are excellent resources for you as you're actually out on a tour. I'm happy to speak with individuals who would like specific recommendations. There are artists in every medium, in every style, from emerging artists to established artists. We have something for everyone, literally, on the tour in every inch of the city. We have studios from the far west corners of Chestnut Hill to the far east corners of South Philadelphia and everywhere in between. So no matter where you are in the city or even if you're coming from outside the city, choose a neighborhood and plan to spend the day there. It's really the most efficient way to see the most amount of artists, the most um, you know, diff different kinds of spaces. Even within each neighborhood, there's a great variety of studios to see. So I would recommend folks choose a certain geographic area and plan to do that for a particular day. Um, I would also like to add that we have a free mobile app for those of you who are using smartphones. Um, it is published through EC, which is a software developer that focuses on arts and cultural events. And if you go to your app, um, store. It's a free download. It's ICI, which is French for here. And the app helps you find the nearest studio wherever you are in the world, theoretically, right? Phil, I know Philly's famous for being a walking town. Indeed. Uh, but what, do you have any tips for people getting around to the different neighborhoods? Absolutely. There are a couple of things happening this year which are really exciting. We have a guided trolley tour, which is administered here through the Center for Emerging Visual Artists. We have one on the Sunday of each weekend, so that's Sunday, October 2nd, and Sunday, October 16th. We'll be meeting here at the Center for Emerging Visual Artists at 1 p.m., and the tour, the tour will run for the full afternoon. Um, it's a sampler, so we'll only be able to visit a handful of studios on each guided tour, and it is a ticketed event. So if you're interested in that, again, please contact me. We also have, um, in collaboration with the folks up in the Northwest, we're putting together a um, trolley shuttle that runs up and down Jonatown Avenue. So you can pick up that trolley at Graver's Lane Gallery, which is located in Chestnut Hill, and you can ride that trolley along Germantown Avenue to select stops in the Northwest, which is more, you know, it's, it's not so much a guided experience, however, it will bring you door to door. It's a very convenient and easy way to see the artists in that neighborhood. It's $5, ride all day, it's a great deal. We also have a walking tour in conjunction with the Roxborough Community Development Corporation, and they are leading folks around the neighborhood of Roxborough, informal walking tour. So there are neighborhood-based guided experiences for people who want a little help in, in putting together their itinerary. Um, but in terms of transportation, I would also recommend for those of you who are comfortable riding bicycles in the city. It's an excellent way to get around. Parking can be tricky in some neighborhoods. Um, certainly, because the Open Studio Tours takes place in so many different places, parking, for example, um, you know, in Germantown is, is quite a bit easier than it is in South Philadelphia, for example, right? So depending on which neighborhood you plan to visit, I would recommend thinking about the most appropriate means of transportation 
public transit is a great way to get around. A lot of studios are located right on major commercial corridors. There are places people don't even realize, which is the beauty of this event. You really get to explore those hidden gems. Um, but they're right on almost every single studio is within three blocks of a public transit stop. And we do have a notation for that in our printed guide. So look for the SEPTA symbol in the printed guide, and that will tell you which studios are accessible very easily by public transit. And I understand there's corollary events associated with the Open Studio Tours. Can you give us some highlights? In addition to the two weekends of the tours themselves, which happen on October 1st and 2nd for venues west of Broad, and October 15th and 16th for the venues east of Broad Street, um, which of course is the heart of the program. But as I mentioned earlier, we're really trying to build up the amount of events and opportunities for not only artists to display their work and get involved, but for studio visitors and the general public to experience the program from a variety of different perspectives. So we have um, exhibitions, artist receptions, demonstrations, workshops, all different kinds of what we call corollary programming that take place really from the you know, mid-September through mid-November. Um, so the Open Studio Tours is really growing into a festival. It's really much more than just two weekends, which is very exciting. So there are a couple things to note, which are a series of featured exhibitions. We have a headlining exhibition this year at the Skybox in conjunction with Eileen Tonini and Allison Stagora, which will be a fabulous show. We also have a number of featured neighborhood-based exhibitions, which are taking place for example, at 110 Church Gallery in Old City, at the Mount Airy Contemporary Artist Space in Northwest in Mount Airy. Um, we've got a show happening at the Asian Arts Initiative, all of which are including registered post artists. So these are examples of the types of opportunities that artists can get as participants in this program, but also represent a much wider variety of programming which is available to the public for free. So I would encourage folks to look at our events page on the website. There's a gray box on the right-hand side. You click on events, and it gives you a full schedule of corollary programming, which includes all of these things and more. Um, in the printed directory, there are also um, symbols, a little family kind of hanging out. It represents um, you know, that artist studio has an event associated with it. So it means that either the artist is doing a talk or they're doing a demonstration, that sort of thing. It could be either during the time of the tours or outside the weekend of the tours. It really depends and you need to contact that artist for more details on their particular event. Um, we also have notations as to which studios are family friendly. Something to just note, in general, the Open Studio Tours is a family-friendly event, and most all artist studios are more than welcoming to families and small children. There are notations next to the artist studios that are particularly set up for small children and families, either in the content of the artwork or the nature of the physical space, or anyone in your family, and look for those special event icons to know where you can get more than just the tour. Thank you, Anne. Thank you so much for all you're doing for the Philadelphia artists. I know that it's going to be a wonderful event.